Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the products I regret buying every brand's nightmare video. I have to say, I'm a little bit nervous to show the first product because it is definitely a cult favorite here in the beauty community, but it just didn't work for me and it's the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. Yep, all the Urban Decay fans right now are probably just like, no, I'm done, I'm out of here, but <laughs> let me justify. In general, I'm a fan of Urban Decay eyeshadows. I think they're pigmented, they apply nicely, they last well. It's just the shade selection which didn't really work for me. I'm sure you guys have all seen it, but in case you haven't, it's just kind of a selection of like shimmery cool... Anyway, um, it's just a selection of um, cool tone shadows, and for my colouring, it just doesn't really work for me. I much prefer something with a little bit more warmth to it. I mean, there are a couple warm shades, for example, Half Baked, but Half Baked is in every freaking Urban Decay eyeshadow palette, so it's like, if I already have it in the original Naked palette, I don't need it again in the second palette, thanks Urban Decay. One, I much prefer the original Naked, which just has like, a gorgeous selection of like warm colors and I prefer the old packaging I know a lot of people don't like the original packaging because as you can see it's a little bit it goes a little bit scruffy um, although I don't really care I mean I've had this for three years I think it's doing pretty well plus I like that it's soft because I drop my things all the time and I feel like well, if it's soft it kind of breaks the impact a little bit whereas this one's just I don't know I'm not a fan of the plastic so that is my first disappointing product um, next, I guess I'll do some lip products because I have about three. I'll start with this lipstick by NYX and it's, um, I think this is part of their Roundhouse Lipstick Collection and it's in the shade 509 Narcissus and it's a really intense, bright, hot, Barbie pink colour. Doesn't flatter me at all. I feel like a lot of people would struggle to pull off this shade. It just applies so streaky and settles in any fine lines, picks up any dry patches on your lips and it just... I don't know, like my lips aren't even that dry, but I just feel like I can't wear this shade. And the second lip product is also by NYX, just kick them while they're down, sorry NYX. Um, and it's the Soft Matte Lip Cream, and this one is in the shade Antwerp. Colour itself is beautiful, like a deep, kind of dusty coral colour. It's just that after a few minutes of wear, I found that then it settled into the dry and like fine lines on my lips, and it just didn't last nicely throughout the day. And the last lip product got so much hype on YouTube and it has no label so I don't actually know what this is called. I'm pretty sure it's like the lip shine something or other. I don't know. Um, but this one is in the shade Carice 102 and yeah I mean people rave about these. They compare them to the YSL glossy lip stains which to be honest haven't actually tried so I mean I can't really make a comparison anyway but I just wasn't impressed with this product. Um, the colour itself was kind of blah, I don't know why I went for like an average medium tone pink, um, but it took at least three layers for it to show up any colour anyway, you know, people were telling me, oh, all you have to do is layer it three times and the colour will show up. I don't want to layer a lip gloss three times, what a waste of product, I would rather just have a lip gloss that goes opaque when I apply it straight away, um, yeah, just wasn't really a fan of that one. The next product is actually a best seller from the brand. Again, I don't know, maybe maybe it's me. Maybe I just have really bad taste in makeup and everyone else is right. But this just didn't work for me either. And it's by Benefit and it's their high beam. And this is a little sample size. Thank God I'd be kicking myself if I bought the full size. Um, so it's a pinky, silvery, cool toned highlighter. But again, going with that whole cool toned thing, it just doesn't look nice on me. It looks grey and ashy and it just... I don't know, I much prefer a golden toned highlighter. And Benefit used to actually make one, but they discontinued it because this was the better seller. But I have gold highlighters that I much prefer over this, and I don't really get much use out of it, unfortunately. Um, another makeup product is by BYS, and it's their Blush Trio. This is the one in Endless Summer. And this got a lot of hype in the Australian blogging community, not so much on YouTube, but a lot of people were comparing it to the Sleek Blush by 3 palettes, which I've always wanted to try, just... I haven't got around to buying them online, so I thought this might be comparable, but I just wasn't a fan. The colours are just too bright. When I apply them, even if I'm using a light hand, I just end up looking like a clown. It looks ridiculous. Maybe if you're more tanned or a darker skin tone, these colours might look a lot more flattering and beautiful on you, but on me, yeah, I just I look like a child who's gotten into her mum's makeup drawer and it just looks clownish and terrible. I've saved the worst for last because this is a product that I hate. Um, it's the Garnier BB Cream Miracle Skin Perfector for under the eyes. Um, if you've been watching my videos, you know that I absolutely love their anti-dark soap as well on concealer, but they discontinued it and they replaced it with this piece of shit. With the original one, it was very... 
was quite sheer, so it wasn't a very thick concealer, but it was very brightening, so I found that that was enough for under my eye. And then they brought out this thing, and firstly, the colours like are completely off. This is meant to be the shade Light, but it's got a really terrible orange tinge to it. And it's sheer like the other product, except that it offers no brightening at all. So essentially, this is like applying a cheap orange tinted moisturizer underneath your eyes, and it just looks terrible. I, I'm just so angry. I hate it when brands will discontinue a product and replace it with something really shit. I'm just so disappointed in Garnier. Um, I would not recommend this again. Sorry if you do like this product. Didn't work for me. Before I get into skincare, um, that was all the makeup products I had to show, but I do have one that I want to talk about. Um, I just don't have it to show you guys because I sold it years ago. Um, I just thought there was no point in me holding onto it. And it's kind of funny because this is again like a massive, massive cult favorite and it's by the brand MAC and it's their eyeshadow in all that glitters. Now, if you've been around on YouTube for a good few years, you probably remember back in the day, All That Glitters was like the it eyeshadow to have. Everybody was raving about it. I'm pretty sure if you like search everyday makeup tutorials from 2010, everyone will be wearing that as their all over the lid eye color with like satin taupe in the crease or something like that. That was just the go-to look. And it looked terrible on me. I just that must have really weird undertones and colors because things just don't look good on me that look good on everyone else. Um, if you haven't seen all that glitters, it's like a champagne shimmery peach color. On me, it just made me look like I had pink eye. Essentially, it just looked pink and completely off, and I just couldn't wear it at all. So I ended up selling it because my eyeshadow is like thirty-five dollars in Australia. Um, yeah, that's my last makeup like disappointing product. Now onto the skincare. The first is the Origins Ginseng Energy Boosting Moisturizer, and guys, I really, really wanted to like this, but I just I can't handle the smell man, I, just, oh, I don't even know why I'm smelling it right now. It just smells so strongly of oranges and I didn't even realise that I don't like the smell of oranges apparently. I like the taste but I just can't handle the smell and because you're applying it all over your face it kind of lingers and I just, it's such a nice moisturiser but I just can't handle the smell of oranges. I'm just going to give this to one of my best friends um, because it was pretty expensive. And then the other one is um, ironically from my favourite skincare brand Antipodes. It's the Avocado Pear Nourishing Night Cream. This doesn't smell like avocado, it doesn't smell like pear, it kind of has like a, I don't know, I don't even know what the smell is, well I just can't, I remember the first time I applied this all over my face and then I was just lying in bed thinking, oh my god this smells so bad and I had to go to the bathroom and just wash it all off, not a fan of this one. And the very last skincare product I think people will be surprised to see in this video is the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair, this is the original formula, I haven't tried the second one, and I have to say there's nothing bad about this product. I can't exactly fault it. Um, it's a nice, rich, intense serum, very hydrating on the skin, very calming on the skin as well. However, I'm pretty sure I paid $150 for this. $100 or $150. Either way, that is a ridiculous amount and I just, it's not worth that much money. I mean, it's a nice serum, but you can probably get like the equivalent from L'Oreal for a quarter of the price and it just... I don't know, I just, I'm so mad at myself for spending that much money on a serum, um, especially when I'm quite young. I think, I don't know, maybe if I was to buy this 50 years down the track, I'd be able to see the difference like when comparing it to a less expensive brand. But at the moment, when I'm younger and my skin is still quite good at the moment, I just don't think I needed to invest in this yet. I just, I don't know. Like I said, it's a nice serum, so if you have the money to splurge, go ahead, try it. But I'm kicking myself, like that was too much money that I spent. Luckily when I did buy this there was a gift of purchase with it so you know it kind of made it a little bit better value for money but yeah if I could turn back time I would not have bought this product. So those are all my disappointing products. Please let me know what yours are in the comments. I think it will make me feel a lot better to know that I'm not the only one who's wasted so much money. But yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I shall see you in my next one. Bye!